Greetings, Earthlings. It's Shane with the Oddball Cards. In your time, it is January 20, 2021. We have a full slate today. I do want to uh, give a couple of caveats here. Any complaints can go to my legal department at Intercontinental Cards uh, in Wales, or you can call them at 1-800-O-H-W-E-L-L-S-O. S-O-R-R-Y. And back to our regularly scheduled program. All right, before we get into the current travel and sagas, I want to give a shout out to a fellow collector I have known for some time that has become quite active. Uh, and not because he sent me something, but because I watched one of his videos this morning, John Klintzman, that he is the number one registered Chris Sabo collector on the planet well we'll say the planet it could be the universe it could be galaxy it could be all time or he could be knocked off tomorrow by some other goggles collector just like oddball is getting outsmarted by a team bag so shout out to john clinsman i will put his uh, information down below and we will see what unsolicited nonsense of odd cards he has sent to me. I have it off camera here. I could be putting other things in there. Lol. So old Oddball has had himself a week. Where it's, but it feels like about a week's worth of work through Wednesday. I try not to bring work into the videos. But uh, I've been karate kicking as fast as I can. That the problem is coming at me. Mud pies. Turtle turds. Etc. Alright. Baseball great, Stick Williams, Daryl Strawberry. Oh, I love this Kmart card. Jim Rice. Man, someday soon people won't even really remember what a Kmart is. I had to stop and get one when I was traveling in the Caribbean because I couldn't find coffee. Kirby Puckett. Underrated over... <laughs> I was just wondering why he sent this to me. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that guy's picture there staring at you. It's creepy guy number two. All right, Juan gone. Let's see. Al Leiter. Oh, man. Harold Reynolds, another Kmart card. Albert Bell. Man, he had some power. Some people say it was supplemental power, but it's whatever. Right? And there's a nice Dwight Gooden. So shout out to John Klintzman. Hats off to you, sir. Super collector. Boom. Number one. All right. So, the hobbyist has been doing his own time travel. Oops, one more order of business. The, uh, let's see, I think it was around Christmas Eve. Winner did not collect, so I'm going to randomize three times again. One, two, three. And so, David M., you are our winner, which is funny because without further ado in tonight's episode... I was going to tell you guys that uh, every Tuesday afternoon that David M. and I meet for our weekly, we eat some tamales, and then we have some fencing sparring. The hobbyist has told us uh, that Frank the Tank has been cloning 40-foot-long caterpillars with laser beams. It's mostly because I think Frank can really identify with those uh, insects, I guess I was going to say animals, because Frank has gone keto, and I think it's driving him a little bit mad. So yeah, David M. and I, uh, congratulations, David M., because you and I, you know, I'll see you next, uh, next Tuesday for some tamales and fencing. Tamales are my current favorite food. It used to be burritos, but uh, in, in the weird collection of accidents, it's now tamales. But you didn't come here for that. We are going to keep opening cards until we scrape off the residue of a difficult week that I'm sure I'm not the only one that has had. This is out of the, the last stack, I believe, of my uh, 2020 Heritage Minor League, Jazz Chisholm, Jordan Balazovic, Tim Tebow. All right, crowd favorite. And this is a white parallel from the Sod Poodles. Luis Patino. If you know anything about him, it is numbered out of 50. Uh, I have been enjoying some heritage hobby. I did, decided not to 
uh, go with the crowd that is opening a lot of that now, and I'll save my uh, hot two-thirds of a hobby box till we're bored. All right, Bryce Wilson, who's in the bigs, CJ Chatham. This guy has a pretty cool first name, and he, he, he's on the hot rods. And Owen Miller. All right, so in that one, we got a, a parallel, white parallel, number to 50. Pretty cool. And a Tebow. So, yes, David Pert, pilot extraordinaire. Hey, that's the... My friend Tom calls him Soto 2.0. That's some, uh, and I love that their minor league system is called the Senators. That's pretty cool. He can't cover up Dwight. Maybe he'll get covered up, but Clark Schmidt, Corbin Carroll, Jorge Mateo, Nick Madrigal, es Espino, excuse me, I almost uh, added a syllable in there. Never heard of this guy, but he's a lumber king. And Leo de Tavares. So yes, the hobbyist has spotted Frank the Tank out and training caterpillars. He also gave me some coordinates where uh, David M. and I decided to uh, go after our fencing. Where, where did I put the rest of my cards? Here they are. Sorry about the delay. Someone was at the door. LOL. So he gave us some coordinates out in space. And what did we find at near the end of the universe? But Big Ray's Diner and Space Pets. Uh, I mean, how could we resist going in there? Quint Priester. Here's a baseball scratch off of Brady McConnell. If you don't know, a big gourmet Patreon. And his mission is to find an autographed one of these. I'm kind of glad I didn't find one before him. But it sent me on a quest. Tristan McKenzie, Peyton Burdick, Ryan LaVarnway, blast two home runs, good for him, and Daniel Johnson. Cool. So yes, we found those coordinates to Big Ray's Diner and Space Pets near the end of the universe. And who did we see jamming there but Elvis, the king. And I know when when I say the king, you're probably thinking, are you talking about Craig B? I, you know, Craig B could have been there hiding eating chili and a hot fudge sundae under one of the uh, under one of the booths but I didn't see him there with Jimmy and Elvis I think Neil Pert was backing up the band it was really cool to see that uh, trio Bryce Ball oh pretty cool stolen base leaders not any names I recognize Gunnar Henderson another cool name <laughs> and we get our pitching leaders in this too all right Max Lazar, Jordan Brewer, and Aurelvis Martinez. All right. So that is three hobby packs of, or those are three hobby packs. I can hear someone correcting my grammar. My only thought is that it's probably either Dwight, Haas, maybe James Palmer. I don't know. Someone's correcting my grammar. All right, I had to throw these in because I know no one really wants to see these open, sometimes myself included. I got them for a cheap gold cup break. But I do like Heritage, and the 2019 design was pretty awesome. I won't lie, I, uh, the high number is much better. But I bought these for a cheap quest into gold cup cards. Michael Lorenzen, Alex Cobb, Brad Hand... Jock, hey, one of my PC guys, Earl Weaver is now covered up by Jason Hayward, Austin Hedges, and CJ Cron. Kind of hoping none of those was a short print because, yeah, not a great pack. That's all right. So, so far, this is pack number five as we try to shake off the midweek doldrums. Still trying to figure out who was correcting my grammar. There are a lot of likely suspects. It could be uh, Farm League, who gave me that stinky cheese man. Shout out to Farm League. Just sold a painting. Congratulations, sir. That Rizzo. I thought it was a short print. That's pretty cool. If you're going to get a short print. All right. I can't cover up Creepy Guy. I'll cover up Tim Tebow. 
No gold cups yet, ERA leaders. Now, this is something you do expect. We went from minor league 2018 to Grom, Nola, Scherzer. That is quite the triumvirate there. And some dude I've never heard of, but he's a major league player. All right. So as we approach six packs opened, I'm starting to get the feeling I used to get as a 20-year-old eating uh, Chocodiles, drinking Mountain Dew, and eating 7-Eleven pizza. This has been good for the brain. Thought about skipping it, but I have you guys penciled in on my dance card every Wednesday night. Whether you want it or not, Oddball comes at you with the shenanigans. Kapow! Left hook. Kapow! Right hook. Like I said, please direct any complaints, concerns, or questions to my legal team at Intercontinental Cards. 1 800 OH. W-E-L-L-S-O-S-O-R-R-Y. All right. We are going to open a couple more packs of something I've been dying to get into. Just going to open about three packs of this. I found it at retail, which, as you all know, is one of my favorite things. It was on the Target website sometime in December and then didn't get here until January. I want to say, I don't like to exaggerate, so at least two weeks, but I think it was more like three and a half, almost to the point where I was worried the order had not come. So I think there's only, oh, 12 packs per box. So maybe I will open three. I thought it was five packs, but it's five cards per pack. So this is kind of Bowman light. If you hung in here this long, kind of the jokes on you, on people that left, I saved the good stuff for last. Usually I open it first in case of meteors or eating the dessert first. So it is a prism. So really beautiful product, regardless of if it's basketball, football, baseball, which I don't do a bunch of collecting. Here's a nice red parallel of Max Meyer. I do believe he was a higher draft pick. I was just watching someone open this. I think it was Dwight with Clark Sports Cards. I don't think that's numbered. I just think it's a parallel, but I am not the smartest guy you're ever going to meet. All right. And a Casey Martin power surge. Pretty cool. All right. A lot of people are not prospect hunters. I know two of the three things I've opened have been prospect laden. And uh, truly, I have a box just called prospects uh, just to kind of sit on to collect, to kind of like a stock maturing. All right, Heston Kerstad. And a backwards card, uh-oh. What's this gonna be backwards for? Wow, I uh, you are guaranteed one autograph per box, but I thought it'd be someone I'd never heard of. I think from opening Bo Bowman, I recognize the name. I know it is not a top end autograph but i don't believe it's a bottom end autograph either so all right our fireworks very nice parallel is luke little i think this is just a base but the color scheme on this is ridiculously awesome for chase antle and brett Auerbach. all right so the answer is eight well the answer is 42 for those of you that were wondering but uh you know, as Paul C. always tells me, don't count your chickens before they hatch. I appreciate you guys uh, letting me open packs at a random undetermined time and amount until we kind of get our heads on straight. I do feel like uh, we've gotten things a little back on track with a new winner since the prize was unclaimed and a look at some a numbered prospect and a prospect auto. So as always, Oddball out.